Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Jennifer. Um, so this is the long-awaited bathroom remodel video. We completely gutted out the girls' bathroom. The whole thing. The only thing that we did not replace in their bathroom was the um the bathtub or shower surround. It was in good shape. I did, however, paint it because y'all know we have well 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 water. So it had stained it pretty bad. It looked yellow, so I painted that. Um, we ripped up all the flooring, sub flooring, all that had to be replaced. The tub had a small crack in it, and throughout the years it just got bigger. I will say that we hadn't used that bathroom in about a year. But that was definitely something we should have done when we first bought our house. When we bought it four years ago. We should have done that then. Um, but yeah, we replaced the flooring, the bathtub, new vanity. We just replaced the toilet, I think, last year, the year before last. So that was in good shape. But um, whew, that was bad. It was bad. There was mold and... It was, it was bad. I wish I could say it was budget friendly, but it wasn't. Um, I'll have everything priced down below. We have um, a store here called Builders Discount Center. And they have, they sell mobile home supplies and everything there. So we were able to go there and get our bathtub. I think the bathtub was like $200. Um, the vanity... The vanity that we got in the top was about 200 also. And then all the material for the flooring, the plywood, the 2x4s. I'm not sure how much we paid for all that. But like I said, I'll have everything priced down below. I am going to start some pictures of what the bathroom looked before. I'm warning you, it was bad. <laughs> bad. Like... It's one of the main reasons why I hadn't done a mobile home tour because of that bathroom. I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of embarrassed. Well, I I was embarrassed of it, but I'm keeping it real with y'all. So this is what the bathroom looked like before. So this is what it looked like underneath that bathtub. Uh, you see the mold on the drywall and all that it was really bad so we had to replace all that um mikhail would not allow me to come back here but if i did i stood back here to take these pictures i made sure i had on a mask This is just some random clip of me that Addie recorded of me putting in the plank flooring. The plank flooring that we used come from Oli's and I think it was $32 a box. The flooring um, was plank flooring. It like clicked into place. It, I like it a lot better than the peeling stick that we have in our living room. It was easy to install. What I'm doing here, this is the bathtub surround. Um, there was some type of residue on there where I hung up the girls' bath sponges a while ago. And um, like I said, I'm painting this, so I, I just took my scraper, my Cricut scraper that I had. It's the only thing I could find to scrape all that residue off. The new bathtub surround was not in our budget. I figured what well, could this hurt to use some spray paint. I mean, y'all see how dingy and yellow it looked. It was bad. Um, so we'll see how well this holds up. We'll see. I'll let y'all know. And to do that whole bathtub surround, it took four whole cans of spray paint. Once it was dry, I come in here with some liquid nail and just make sure it would stick to the wall real good.
Those push pins that were on the bathtub surround had broke, so luckily Mikkel had a whole box of them on hand. They are black though. This is what it looked like once I got the bathtub surround back in and the vanity. Um, I do need to take some caulking and go up against the bathtub surround, but it looks a lot better. So now it's time to stain this vanity. I was going to paint it white, but that would have been way too much white in this bathroom. As you can see, I've already painted the walls white. I did not record that because I absolutely hate <laughs> hate watching people paint walls so i was like nope i'm not even gonna record me painting but like i said i just felt like that would have been too too much white so i'm just staining this with um my early american stain same stain that i used throughout our whole kitchen remodel So this is a Pinterest inspired idea that I seen. It's basically a one by four that I put in front of the shower rod just to hide the shower rod. And I absolutely love the way it turned out. It just added it did just added some to the bathroom and yes that is paint all in my hair i'm using these corner brackets that i found at walmart to secure my one by four Once I got it up there, I stained it with the same stain that I used for the vanity. Now, I could have used a thicker, batter piece of wood, but I feel like with the bathroom being so small, a bigger piece of wood would have just made it feel even smaller. But I love the outcome of it. I love how it hides the shower rod. No idea what's going on with my camera right here, but it is now the next day and it is time to decorate my favorite part. Um, all the decorations, the shelves and these little signs I got off of Amazon. I'll have them linked down below. Even though it hurts, I won't show it to you. Cause it will ricochet, I won't let it bite. I will look at you and tell you that I'm So this is their mirror for their bathroom. I was going to leave it like this, but it wouldn't have went with my whole theme back there. So I picked up some paint from Walmart. The blue is peacock and the brown is hazelnut. I'll have it linked down below for y'all.
I honestly should have stopped while I was here. I should have stopped right here. But no, I wanted to add brown to it. It didn't turn out too bad. Okay, so I picked this up from Walmart. Things like 1077 for three of them. I want to make some cute little bathroom signs to go on my shelves that y'all just seen me put up. Um, so I use my Cricut for that. And I do, I will be staining these the same color as everything else in the bathroom. For the washer hand sign, I wanted to be able to hang a hand towel there. So I picked up these little hooks from Walmart and I'm just gonna attach it to my sign. So these were just some basic black cabinet knobs that I picked up from Walmart. I went over them using that blue peacock paint with the dry brush just to give the vanity a pop of color. Then I just sealed it with some Mod Podge sealer. So here it is y'all. This is it. The bathroom completely finished. I love how it turned out. Um, love this i'm actually debating on redoing my whole house this theme because <laughs> i love it so much but i hope y'all enjoyed this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe see y'all on the next one